can see this large rectangular remains of a building. It's enormous. It must be up to 90 foot long. We believe this to have been one of the Cistercian sheep handling centres. It could have held up to 300 sheep at its height. At the far end, maybe an entrance. At this end, maybe um, a chamber for domestic purposes. Maybe someone was living here while they were processing the sheep. You can see this mountain wall running all the way around here. We believe this to be medieval. Um, this is known as the mountain wall um, and separates the upland, the open upland, from the enclosed lowland. So it would have been an important boundary in the landscape. It not only keeps sheep on the correct side, but it also delineates your territory. Over in this area, we have um, the remains of an earthwork settlement, what we believe to be a farm in effect. And there are a number of house platforms, garden enclosures, trackways. There's also evidence of ponds, and maybe there was some sort of processing to do with water management there. Over in this area, a similar kind of thing again. We've got um, house platform, we've got garden set, um, enclosures, we've got trackways. So this whole area is littered with the remains of medieval settlement, farming, activity. This would have been a really busy place. This area would have been mined heavily in the medieval period and probably to supply the abbey with its lead and perhaps silver as well. Down near the um, abbey church, quite close in fact, we've excavated the site of what we believe to be a forge mill. So even very close to the abbey there would have been a large amount of industrial processing going on. There would have been smoke, there would have been noise, there would have been people, there would have been all this activity going on. It wouldn't just have been a, a quiet, contemplative place to be. There would have been, you know, it was a, a, an industrial centre of activity.